Starting with the first website, which is Screely, and it lets you create free website mockups from any photo you upload. There are also some useful settings, like changing the window type or customizing the background color. If you set both paddings to zero pixels though, you'll be able to download your mockup without the background. Next up is edit.photo, and it's a lightweight tool for quickly editing your photos in your browser. If you go to redact, you can easily blur stuff in your screenshots or in the markup tab add arrows and of course do all the other fun stuff like adding filters and changing brightness, contrast and saturation. Once you're done editing, just click export and you can download your image as a PNG or a JPEG file with no login required. Moving over to file.pizza, which is a peer-to-peer -peer file transfer tool, you just select a file that you want to send to your friend and you'll get a custom link. Once your friend opens that link, he'll be able to download the file to his PC. Continuing with TempMail, which gives you a temporary throwaway email address. I often use this tool to sign up to shady websites that require an email to let you do something. And then they often spam your inbox with unnecessary ads. Now Copy Cara is a tool that lets you copy special characters and emojis that aren't on your keyboard. You can click on a symbol which will immediately copy it and then paste it somewhere. And if you like reading, what should I read next.com is a website where you can enter in a book title, for example a book that I recently read, Atomic Habits, and it'll show you books to read that are similar to it. Now most likely we're all familiar with the struggle of setting up a brand new computer. And Nine Night lets you pick popular apps that you want and then downloads and installs all of them at once. What's also useful is Dilinger, which is an online cloud-based HTML5 filed markdown editor. It has two panes, the editor on the left and the live preview on the right. The split panes make it easy to see what your markdown formatted text looks like. Now fonts.google.com gives you a library of open source fonts that everyone can download and use. You just click on a font you want to install, choose download family and then open the font file and click install. Now when it comes to graphic design, if you want something less extreme than Photoshop that is also free to use, then look no further than Canva. It's a complete design tool for everyone who isn't an experienced designer. You can create everything from printables to PDFs. PDFs, to invoices, flyers, infographics, and even websites. Moving over to howlongtobeat.com, which lets you see how long it takes for different playstyles to beat popular video games. It bases the time on submitted data from other players. You can also register for an account to manage your games in your library, which lets you keep track of your backlog, completed titles, and more. Moving over to Photo which is sort of a discounted Photoshop. It's an online photo editor which looks and feels similar to Photoshop, even has the layers panel, the same keyboard shortcuts, and even the pen tool, and lets you edit photos in your browser for free. What's also cool is Dictation.io, which is a simple notepad where you can type text using dictation. It supports many different languages, not only English, and when you finish dictating your text, you can either copy and paste it elsewhere or click save and it'll download as a text file to your computer. If you're a YouTuber, panzoid.com has many intros and outros that are free to use and customize. You can pick the one that you want, click open in Clipmaker where you can easily edit the text in the intro and once you're happy with the result, click start video render. Once it's finished, you'll be able to download your custom intro or outro. 
intro. Another cool site is eatthismuch.com and it's an automatic diet planner. You can enter how many calories you want to eat per day and how many meals you want to spread them across and the website will help you create a diet plan. It has weekly emails for what to buy at the grocery store, gives you cooking instructions and updated stats as you go along. It supports various diets like vegetarian and paleo and aims to help you avoid worrying about what to eat at mealtimes. This has been mind-blowing websites you probably didn't know existed. And if you're still open-minded about learning something else, consider watching this video next.